Hi, I'm Melissa. Welcome to Yoga for Anxiety. Today, I have a gentle yoga class for seniors and beginners. We'll take things nice and slow. And throughout the practice, I'll be showing lots of modifications. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You can sit cross-legged just like I'm sitting right now. Find your sit bones, sit up tall, lift through the chest and gently roll your shoulders back. Take your hands behind your head, open your elbows out wide and take your gaze slightly up. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly round through the back and bring your elbows together. Good. Inhale, open through the chest, broaden through the collarbone and take your gaze up. Exhale, bring the elbows together and round through the back. Good, let's flow here with our breath. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, release. Inhale, think about opening through the chest. And then exhale, let it go. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, take your gaze up towards the sky. And then exhale, round through the back. Once more, deep breath in. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then exhale, round through the back. Good. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, relax your arms down to the sides of the body. From here, we'll do some gentle shoulder shrugs. You can take the shoulders up, back, and down. We'll do that again. Take the shoulders up, back, and down. And just continue that motion, moving the shoulders in a circular pattern. And just think about relaxing and releasing your shoulders. You got it. Let's do that one more time. Take the shoulders up, back, and down. Good. From here, take your right elbow behind your head. You can grab your opposite or your, or your elbow with your opposite hand and then gently pull it over. If that's not available or if that feels uncomfortable in your body, you can take your left hand and just gently push your right arm up. This is another option here. You should feel a nice stretch in the shoulder. Just breathe here for a moment into this stretch. You got it. Let's take one more inhale and then exhale, relax the arms down. We'll come now to the opposite side. So this time, take your left arm up, take your elbow up to the sky, and then you can grab onto your elbow with your opposite hand and gently pull it over for a deeper stretch. Again, if this isn't comfortable for you, you can just gently push your arm up with your opposite hand. Let's hold this stretch here for a moment and just breathe into the stretch. Good, take one more inhale, and then exhale, relax the arms down to your thighs. From here, take your right hand in front of you, flex the palm of your hand. Gently pull back on your fingertips or coming into a hand and wrist stretch. Good, so I feel this one in my wrist and then in my forearm as well. This feels good if you've been typing on the keyboard a lot. Good. Let's come to the opposite side. So this time flex your left hand and then gently pull back on your fingertips. Again, feeling this one in the wrist and the forearm. Release your hand from your fingers. Let's gently do a couple circles with the wrists and then go the opposite direction. You got it. Take your hands down to your thighs once more. And from here, we'll extend both of our legs out in front of us. We're going to come into a seated forward fold. So you can keep your knees bent. We'll start with bent knees. So with bent knees, you can reach down to the soles of your feet. And you're hinging forward from the waist. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your gaze slightly up. 
So from here, you can start to slowly straighten one leg at a time and don't straighten it all the way, just a little bit. And I want you to notice how your body is feeling. So you'll feel this stretch in your back and then also in your hamstrings and down your legs. If this isn't too intense in your low back, you can always bend the knees and come up a little bit. So let's start to straighten the legs. And then, like I said, check in with your body, see how you're feeling. This feels good. You can start to straighten the legs a little bit more. And then as you're straightening the legs, continue to hinge forward from the waist, relax your gaze down to the earth. If it feels good, you can straighten your legs all the way. And then just relax your head and neck. And we'll hold here for a moment. Remember, I'm showing a couple different levels with this stretch. So I really want you to pick the level that is right for your body today. It's very important to listen to your body when you're doing yoga. And yoga is all about the journey, not the destination. Good. Let's continue to breathe here in this stretch. Good. As you inhale, lift your chest slightly. Think about lengthening through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, come a little bit deeper into your stretch. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift through the crown of the head. And then exhale, come a little bit deeper. One more time, deep breath in by length through your spine. And then exhale, come a little bit deeper into your fold. Good. You can slowly begin to bend your knees if they're not already bent and release your hands from your feet. And then from here, take your feet a little bit wider. You can scoot your hips closer to your feet and then we'll just windshield wiper the legs from side to side, just releasing from that stretch. Good. We'll do that a couple more times, just gently moving the knees from side to side. And once more, either side. And come back to center. And from here, we're going to come to tabletop position. So thread your legs behind you and come up to all fours. So you're on your hands and on your knees. And take a moment, make sure your knees are stacked right under your hips. And make sure your wrists are stacked under your shoulders. So you have a nice, strong base supporting your body. Spread your fingertips out wide. We're going to do some cat cows here. So take your gaze in front of you. On your next inhale, gently lift your chest and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, round through the back and take the gaze inward. Inhale, lift the chest, take the gaze slightly up. And then exhale, round through the back. Good. Just continue this movement with your breath. Take an inhale. And then exhale, release. Inhale, gently squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take the gaze up. And then gently exhale and push the floor away. Inhale, lift for cow pose. And exhale, release to cat pose. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift through the chest. And exhale, round through the back. Once more, inhale and rise. And exhale, release. Nice job. Take your knees wide out to the sides of the mat. We're going to come to child's pose. From here, reach your fingertips to the top of the mat and relax your forehead down. And gently sway from side to side. Find a little bit of movement here in your child's pose. And sway your hips and your forehead. And just find some movement that feels good in your body. Once you feel complete, find stillness in your child's pose. Bend your elbows and place the palms of your hands together behind your head for reverse prayer hands. In this pose, you'll feel a gentle opening and stretch in the shoulders and through the chest. Just 
find your breath in this child's pose. And think about lengthening and expanding your breath. So really starting to slow down your breathing. Just taking your time here in this pose. Notice how your body feels as you ground with the earth. Once you're ready, you can ex reach your fingertips back towards the top of the mat and then start to slowly rise up, come back to tabletop position. So you come back to all fours. And then from tabletop position, we're going to come into high plank. So you can extend your legs behind you and then push through the heels of your feet. If this is too intense, you can keep your knees down. You can cross your legs and do a modified version of high plank and just lower your hips if you're doing this version. So either version will just hold here for a few breaths. Take your gaze down to the mat and then gently push your head back like you're pushing into a headboard. So that'll help you to get into good spinal alignment. You should feel some engagement in your core and then also through your shoulders and your arms. From here, we're going to push back to downward facing dog. So it looks like this. Bend your knees and push yourself as far back as you can. We're going to start right here. Once your knees are bent, start to lift your hips up towards the sky. So you're on the balls of your feet. Your hips are lifted towards the sky. Push yourself as far back as you can. So your weight is in the palms of your hands. Think about really lifting your tailbone to the sky. Then slowly start to straighten your legs. Bring your heels down to the earth. So if you're tight in the hamstrings like I am this morning, you may not be able to straighten your legs all the way. So it's fine to keep your knees bent. From here, we'll bend one knee at a time and just walk out your dog. And shake your head yes and no, and let go of any tension, any tightness that you're holding in the neck today. Just breathe into this pose. So we're doing down dog with a little bit of movement here. And then once you feel ready, bend the knees again, lift the hips up towards the sky. Once again, come to a static downward facing dog. Maybe you're able to push your heels a little bit closer to the earth. Spread your fingertips out wide and really think about actively pushing through the palms of your hands. Breathe here. Good, let's take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and come back down to tabletop position. You're doing great. From here, gently sway your hips from side to side. We're just gonna release from that downward facing dog. Gently sway your head from side to side. Find a little bit of organic movement that feels good in your body today. Good. From here, find stillness. Curl your toes underneath behind you. So curl your toes under, sit back on your feet. We're gonna come into a toe squat. This is one of my favorites. I like this one because it really stretches the fascia that start in your feet and then go all the way up through your legs. Lift your chest, gently roll your shoulder blades back behind you, and then take your hands or fingertips down to the mat. We'll breathe here for a moment. Good. I really feel the stretch in my feet. Some people feel it more in their legs. Let's take one more inhale. And then exhale, you can just release down to tabletop position. From tabletop, we're gonna flip over and come onto our backs. 
You can bend your knees and then slowly lower yourself down onto your back. We're going to come to a lying position on our mats. Once you are lying down on your mat, we'll come into bridge pose. So I'll show you a couple options for bridge. If you have a block nearby, you can grab your block. Place your block on the lowest setting. Put your block underneath your sacrum. So the sacrum is the bony part that's a little bit lower down than your low back. Once you're on your block, rotate the palms of your hands to face the ceiling. Gently rock your shoulder blades underneath you to open your chest. Take your gaze up to the sky. So this version of bridge pose is a really relaxing version. It's a slight back bend. And you're welcome to stay here in this version of bridge. I'll show you a couple other options that you can choose as well. Another option is to place the palms of the hands down on the mat, so facing down, and then lift the hips off of the mat. So squeeze the glutes and gently squeeze the inner thighs together. Again, you can rock the shoulder blades underneath you and then keep your gaze up towards the sky. One last modification here is to interlace the fingers and hands underneath you and then rock the shoulder blades even deeper underneath your body. Lift the hips even higher to the sky. So this is a deeper back bend. So pick the version that feels good to your body and we'll stay here for a few rounds of breath. Good, let's take one more inhale and then exhale. You can unlace your fingers if they're laced underneath your body. Gently release your shoulders and lower your hips back down to the mat. Good, from here, hug both of your knees into your chest and then gently rock from side to side. Give yourself a little bit of a back massage. And you can move in a circular pattern. You can make a figure eight with your legs, just invite you to move in a way that's feeling good for your body today. Once you feel complete and find stillness in this pose, you're going to extend your right leg out long. Keep your left leg bent. So you're hugging your left leg still into your chest, but your right leg is extended out long. From here, start to circle your ankle of your right foot. So you can circle it in one direction. And then once you're ready, you can go the opposite direction. Good. And then find stillness with your foot. You're welcome to stay right here with your leg hugged into your chest, or you can come into a deeper hamstring stretch. So for that option, you would extend your left leg up to the sky and then interlace your hands behind your left hamstring. So the sole of your left foot is pushing up towards the sky. And then you can gently start to hug your hamstring into your chest and only go as deep as it feels comfortable for you. So really make sure that you're listening to your body here. Just continue to breathe into the stretch. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, bend your knees, bring both of your knees back in towards center. One more time, we're gonna rock from side to side. Give ourselves that little back massage. This is one of my favorite movements. I try to do it every day. It feels so good on my back. Again, you can move in a circular motion or you can move the figure eight pattern or side to side, whatever feels good to you.
Once you're ready, find stillness here. This time we're going to extend our left leg out long. So keep your right leg hugged into your chest and then extend your left leg. So with your right ankle, start to make a circle around in one direction. And then once you're ready, you can circle your right foot in the opposite direction. You're welcome to stay right here in this pose. You can stop making the circles with your foot. Or if you'd like to come into that deeper hamstring stretch, you can extend your right leg up to the sky. You can interlace your hands on the back of your right thigh. Push the sole of your right foot up towards the sky. And then as it feels good to your body, you can gently hug your leg closer to your chest. And we'll just breathe here into the stretch for a few moments. Good, take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, release your leg down to the ground. Extend both of your legs out long. Reach both of your hands overhead and come into a full body stretch. This is our final stretch before we come to Shavasana today. I want you to reach through your fingertips, point through your toes, and think about just lengthening through your entire body. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, relax your arms to the side of the body. Come into a comfortable lying position for our Shavasana. So just find a position that feels good to you. You can close your eyes. Just allow your mind to quiet. We're just going to take a couple minutes here. Enjoy the quiet and stillness. Sometimes in our day-to-day -day lives, we're busy and we're going from one thing to another. We're on our phone or we're watching TV. And it's sometimes it's rare that we just take a moment to have quiet and peace. Let's just take a couple minutes and enjoy that right now. We'll stay here for three more rounds of breath. Take one more long, slow inhale. And then just take your time as you exhale. Start to bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. Gently rock your head from side to side. And when you're ready, begin to open your eyes. Rock onto one side of your body. Use your arm to push yourself up and come to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.